In this video, we're going to show you how to chart the financials of any company. So let's just get right to it. Type in a symbol you're interested in. In this example, type in Tesla. We want to look at Tesla. Then go up top and click financials. Now, this is where you can chart any of these financial metrics or financial statistics right on the chart. That's right, income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, statistics, it's all here. Tons of financial information and data for you to directly analyze and chart so that you can make the best decisions in markets. Now before we dive into some examples, why don't we just give you a background on what we're doing here. So as you can see, Tesla just reported earnings. That's right, this is a one minute chart of Tesla. And as you can see, they reported Q3 EPS of 76 cents adjusted, first the 57 cent estimate, Q3 revenue of 8.77 billion, first the 8.36 billion estimate. And when Tesla reported those numbers, it jumped. And it's since hit a high, it looks like around here on 440, 441, and now it's starting to retrace and give those gains back up. So what you can do is follow these earnings announcements live on TradingView, but more importantly, you can do the research beforehand so that you know what to expect when earnings happen. So check this out. We're gonna back this chart out to a daily chart. Let's press auto to recenter the chart focus. And now let's dive into it. So this is a daily chart of Tesla and let's look at Tesla's financial performance into this earnings report, which by the way, this E here shows you an earnings report is coming. So we click financials and for starters, let's look at revenue. So revenue can be found in the income statement and we're gonna look at quarterly, which by the way, when you're ready to select a financial metric, off to the right here is quarterly or annual. Additionally, you can click, this is now really important for those who are looking to learn, you can click the question mark next to the quarterly and annual buttons and you will see a description of that financial metric so you can learn while you are doing. But let's get right to it. So we go to income statement, total revenue, quarterly. Now pay attention to what happens here when we click quarterly. It now opens up on the chart. So what you see here is Tesla's quarterly revenue since 2016 being shown right alongside its price chart. Really interesting. You can examine both at the same time time. So Tesla looks like they had 8 billion, 8.7 billion in revenue this quarter. Well, that's a record. Really impressive stuff cuz last quarter they did 6 billion in revenue. So why isn't the stock popping that much? Well, we can really dive in. Why don't we examine some other interesting trends that are possibly going on with Tesla to figure out why the stock is moving or the way people are valuing it today. So we go up to financials and we click and this time, why don't we look at cash flow? So one really interesting metric is free cash flow. Free cash flow is one way to see how much a company has left over after it's paid off all of its essential costs. So it's almost money that it can then put to work, whether it's uh, R&D or dividends or uh, buybacks or acquisitions, things of that nature. So Tesla's free cash flow last quarter was 398 million. And as you can see, it's a pretty choppy chart. It uh, provides not much clarity, but it does show something really important. You can, if you look closely, you can see that Tesla's free cash flow of 976 million back in Q4 2019 was its all time high. So if you really wanna see Tesla start to get some cash and put it to work and expand or pay out dividends or buybacks, you probably want to see this free cash flow continue upward and eventually take out this all time high because it's a very important, important metric to a company. So, but that's not the whole picture. There are so many employees, 
numbers, expenses, costs, uh, like we said earlier, research and development, like we're looking at now, free cash flow that go into a company. So let's go back to financials and continue to examine what's going on. Now, by the way, before we really dive in here, why don't we just quickly tell you this is not investing or trading advice. Instead, we're showing you how you can use all of these metrics to make the best decisions. And we're just using, using Tesla as an example. Now, what's really cool is you can even do things such as number of employees. That's right. If you want to see how fast Tesla's growing, well, one way to look at that is to see how many employees they have pretty interesting as you can see Tesla actually from 2018 to 2019 at least so far has less employees of course the pandemic may have caused some of that with the slowdown but very interesting maybe they're getting costs under control why don't we dive in and look at some other interesting statistics that you can really quickly pull up and look at any time you are charting a stock or a company so for example Let's say we want to dive into its quick ratio. The quick ratio tells you how financially healthy a company is. How quickly can it pay off its liabilities or its debts? And as you can see, one impressive thing that Tesla's been doing is it's been improving its financial situation. A quick ratio above one implies that it is in a much better position to pay off its liabilities or debts than below one. So this is a healthy trend. We'll have to look into how this trend progresses after its latest earnings report. Now remember, to do any of this, go up to financials and click to get started. By the way, you can chart multiple financials at once. So right now we have quick ratio open. Well, if we wanted to, we could throw, let's say, basic EPS. We could add basic EPS to this chart. And now, as you can see, we've created three charts each on top of each other it's stock price up here quick ratio here and it's eps down here and we can add additional charts we can also move them so press this button to move it up or move it back down we can quickly make them large just by clicking this you can also double click on the chart to make it the main focus and it's very easy to control to create a chart layout with all of this financial information and to analyze it. By the way, this is all quarterly data and you can do additional things. For example, you can actually add another symbol to the chart. So let's say you wanted to compare two charts. Well, you could have Apple down here and Tesla up here. That's just one example. Another really cool thing is you can change the colors and the design and look of these charts. So if you want the line to be, for example, green, just simply click the color, go to green, and make the selection. You can also change the way the line feels, whether it's a line, step line, histogram, uh, whatever is best for you to see the chart correctly. In this case, let's keep it as a line. And you can even choose to hide the labels or show the labels. You probably want to show the labels so you know what each number represents. So we hope that this tutorial was helpful and that it gave you a good overview of the financial information that's available to you. And more importantly, just how easy it is to pull up that information. So really quick, let's see how Tesla's doing now after earnings. One minute chart. So it looks like they... Uh, spiked here, dropped, and now it's trying to find an area to stabilize in after its latest earnings report. And that is interesting. And tomorrow, when you're ready to dive into the Tesla chart or any other chart that reports earnings, this is how you can get a complete picture. Open up the chart, go up to the top and click Financials, and then start clicking the financial metrics that you need to see. So we hope that you enjoyed this video presentation. We hope that you get started with it as soon as possible. We think it's one of the best ways to chart the financial health of any company. And listen, if you are trading a stock, if you are following a company, it can be really helpful to also understand its financial situation. So yes, you can. there's price action, number one. There's technical analysis. There's simply chart analysis and indicator settings. But it's just as valuable to add financial information to the chart 
so that you can make even more informed decisions. Thank you for watching.